Hello and welcome. I always believe that if you are a job aspirant and you are supposed to bring value and strength to the organization, I think you should be ready with such an answer. So an interview question which is often asked and many job aspirants fail to deliver as a right answer or a balanced answer is what we are trying to look at and may be possible give a solution with an example so what skills would you bring to the job during a job interview the hiring manager may ask you many questions to see if you are the right person for the job one common question is what skills would you bring to the job this is an important question to answer correctly as your response will give your interviewer insight into your work ethic and style this particular shoot we are going to review what it takes to answer it in the right perspective how to answer what can you bring to the company is understanding the goals of the company and linking them to your personal goals will always help you answer this question confidently follow few steps which are wise first is research the company before you get interviewed before you are interview spend some time researching the company go on their website and write down interesting traits you find so you can remember them in your interview if applicable you can also visit their social media pages which will help you learn what their company culture is like this will give you an idea of how you should act during the interview and what you can expect from your coworkers in the future for example i understand that being involved in the community is important to you based on the recent charity drive you hosted i would love to contribute this by talking to other leaders in the community to get them involved in your next event okay second would be show them what makes you unique this question gives you the opportunity to highlight any skills that you would specifically benefit you in this job use the star method as discussed in several videos of ours to describe a situation you faced at work how you used your skills to approach it and what kind of outcome you received star stands for situation task action and result the star method will help you develop clear and concise responses to interview questions using real life examples pick out one or two of your strengths and give solid examples of how you have used them in the past this type of answer will not only show them that you can perform well under pressure but it will also demonstrate that you grow from your experiences how example i can make anyone feel comfortable in a new environment which makes me a good fit as a human resource assistant in my previous position a new employee came to me and told me that she didn't think she was right for the company culture after talking to her for a few minutes we realized that she felt too much pressure to participate in company events i started introducing events that involve fewer competitions and more casual environments and she quickly grew more comfortable with her team let's come down to number 3 focus on the key requirements of the job research one or two main requirements for the job you are applying for and let the interviewer know in detail how you meet those requirements for example if you know that customer service is important state that you are excited to help out and interact with customers you can also give a specific example of a time you stayed on the phone with a customer until you were sure their problem was resolved one more example i love being able to help customers with their problems and i always look forward to the opportunity to assist a customer who may be upset in my previous position i continued helping a customer troubleshoot an issue with their laptop for more than an hour when we found the solution to their problem they thanked me and gave our company a five star review number 4 keep your answers concise 
while you should include all the necessary details in your answer you should also strive to keep it as concise as possible having an answer that tells the interviewer that what makes you unique but remains an appropriate length is the key to making yourself look confident and competent in your interview how let's see as an example i would do well in this job because i enjoy working with people and want to help them understand their insurance better i've always been a strong communicator and i excel in resolving problems and teaching others number 5 know what traits employers are looking for many employers value different traits depending on their industry this can include being able to work independently and with a team you may also want to include examples of ideas you had in other positions that will show them they can expect you to regularly contribute to their team if you have education or knowledge in the, that particular field you are applying for always make that known to your potential employer while they may have read this information on your resume an interview is your opportunity to expand on your unique skills and experience how let me relate with an example at my previous job our team found a web design issue that prevented us from moving forward in our project i used my attention to detail to figure out what was causing the usability problem which allowed us to move on and finish the development before our deadline tips for talking about skills you bring to the company here are some additional tips to consider when answering this particular question bring up both hard and soft skills so it's very important that you bring both technical and the non technical skills to play and work for you it may benefit you to discuss both hard and soft skills such as design or word processing and soft skills to balance the hard skills such as communication or critical thinking showing your interviewer you have a diverse set of skills will help you establish yourself as an adaptable and hard working candidate keep your answers natural i keep saying a lot and i keep maintaining this in all my videos that be yourself and believe in yourself this will take you a long long way while it's always a good idea to spend time preparing for this type of question remember to approach your interview as you would a conversation research the company determine which skills will be the most beneficial to discuss but in fact leave nothing to luck or chance instead talk about more of your experiences if your interviewer has follow up questions another important thing is demonstrate the value you bring to the company explain how your skills and attributes would benefit the company in general especially if you can find out what problems they might currently be experiencing for example if you are naturally gifted at budgeting you might discuss how you could reduce costs across your department and save the company a significant amount of money so i'm very sure now you are very clear in your mind that while attempting to answer such a question what do you bring to the job you are basically looking into your own skill sets your experiences what you have gained out of them and how it can be beneficial to a particular company remember there will be always something to say you need to figure out what and it will be all inside your journey of academics most of the time for inexperienced candidate it is mostly in the journey of academics and their voluntary services don't ever undermine the power of whatever you do outside your academia i'm very sure whatever you are involved in has also made you to develop your other skills for example being resourceful being sociable interpersonal skills is a collection of so many skills which we have understood in one of our video so i think 
you need to look at every aspect of what you have done so far as you are applying for the job and also make a relevant logical example be ready with it and maybe practice it before actually delivering what is to be delivered in the interview so taking a lot of clue from this i'm very sure this time you would be best prepared by taking a deep introspection within you what you are made up of what is the value that you have what is the strength that you possess what is the exposure you have what is what are the predisposition and traits you carry and bring it to that particular job if you have fulfilled all i think you are prepared best wishes thank you